Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna show you my favorite compression drill, one thing that I use myself in my practice to really hit the ball more solid. All right guys, so I wanna to talk today about my favorite compression drill. Now, what I have here with me is a hanger. Uh, this is something that I've seen a lot of other people do. Um, I more or less tried kind of on my own just to see how it felt. And um, after some trial and error, I decided that I really like it, eh? and I use it uh, for myself um, to change my compression. So I want to eh, make you guys aware of this. If you guys don't know or haven't seen this drill before, I want to let you know how it works, um, show you myself going through it, and then how I feel, um, things I feel when I use it to help compress uh, the ball more. So what we do here is we'll take a hanger, a normal hanger from home, nothing special about this, just a plastic one, and we're going to put it on the side of the club. So when I put this on the side, uh, I put it on the left side of the club. It feels a little bit weird when you grip in the beginning. I'm looking to put my right hand thumb basically all the way at the end. I grip it like that first, and then I grip around it from there. Now the whole point of this hanger is that throughout my swing, I'm gonna keep a portion of the hanger on my wrist. And the goal with that, and what I'm really training in here, is wrist conditions. So from the down the line angle here, when I start, um, the, this little piece of my hanger, the middle portion of it will be on my left wrist there. I can feel that right off the bat. Now, if I go up to the top, um, some people will use it during the back, so they kind of press that hanger up against their wrist there like so, and that'll give you that sensation in terms of bowing that lead wrist or bending that right wrist back. I don't personally feel it a ton there. That's not what I'm going for. I feel like it starts on my wrist and then kind of just stays on my wrist at the top. What I'm really looking for is during the downswing, right now I can feel it's pressed on my wrist. As I start down, I feel like I crank that thing onto my wrist even more. And you can see for me, for my club face, it does two things. One, it starts to tilt my club face down towards the ground so it's not too open. That's part number one here. You can see also my lead wrist goes from just a slight extension I normally have at the top, and I actually turn that down into a bowed um, position. It gets the club head nicely back out in front for me because I'm too far back, tilts the club face down. And when I get to this spot here where the club's parallel to the ground, face is tilted down, left wrist is flat, uh, this is sort of the ultimate. And I'm just trying to transport that then into my follow through. That's the whole point here. So from face on, I'm up to the top, I feel that pressing against my left forearm, and here's where I'm at at the bottom. Left wrist is flat, this is pressing against my arm, face is tilted down, club's about parallel with my hands, and that's it. I'm done with my arms and hands there. Then I'm just transporting that angle into my follow through. The hanger and the purpose of this is to get your wrist conditions, right? So uh, again, when I'm doing this here, I'm feeling like from the top, I'm cranking my lead wrist down, I'm flexing my lead wrist, I'm bending my right wrist back. I'm feeling this pressing against my form more than normal. I'm, in my words, I'm cranking that thing down, cranking the face down. And that's good and that's part of it, but I have to turn with that, right? So when I was hitting shots, I'm saying, hey, I'm cranking that down. And once I'm down to here, I'm opening with that. I crank it down, my face is pointing more down, my wrist conditions are good, and then now I'm leaving that go, and I'm just turning with it is the feel. Is that what's actually happening? Of course not. They're gonna be releasing a little bit, but that's the feel with it. Same thing from here, I'm cranking my lead wrist down, I'm flattening my wrist, bowing it, I'm cranking the face down, and then I'm just opening up. I'm not doing anything with my arms and hands from there is the feel of that. So you crank this thing down, you get your wrist conditions good, get your face under control, but you have to add the turn with it. When do you turn? Well, for me, I feel like I turn a lot after I crank it down, but you can turn right from the top with it and turn a lot. Crank this down and add the turn. Those pieces have to go together. So I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate a couple here and we'll start from the beginning. So hangers on the side, thumb is all the way down towards the bottom. And I like to just practice this where I'll do a couple rehearsals. I kind of get halfway back, it's on my left wrist, I crank it down a little bit, feel it pressing against my wrist, see my face turn down. And once the club's parallel to the ground, I'm done. Then for me, it's just, how do I take that and turn into my follow through? So let's demonstrate one here. I'm gonna feel this right there. And that was pretty good there for me. So same thing, I'm gonna do another one. And I, 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 you know, when you're practicing this, I might do 20 to 30 golf balls with this at the beginning of a range session. 
just to retain those same feels. I'm feeling here, cranking that down, getting that to here, and just turning. Here and turning. For me, I really feel like my right side turns through a lot more when I do that. Good. And so that's the point here, right? A divot like that, compression, I'm taking that club, I'm taking that dynamic loft from where it is normally, I'm trying to crank that thing forward. I'm pushing that against my lead wrist in this motion right here. You can see what that does to the club. If I push that forward, my handle goes forward, my club stays back and it takes the loft off. That's what I'm trying to feel. I'm just feeling it here. And then I'm transporting that into my follow through. Obviously there's gonna be some release that happens, but my feel is I get that down there, crank that down, face is pointed down, wrist is good, and then I'm just turning my right side through. I'll do one more. And that creates such a good feel for me. And when I check that on track, man, what it does is takes my dynamic loft down a couple degrees relative to normal, increases my angle of attack a little bit, and neutralizes my path. So something you could literally grab for a couple cents out of your closet. Again, when you put it on the club on the side, it's gonna feel kind of weird in the beginning when you grip it, you'll get used to that. If you're someone who your wrist conditions during the backswing get all um, taken off, another thing you can do with that when you come back, if your wrist conditions get where it's cupped here like this, you won't feel the pressure of this on your lead wrist. If you flatten that out, you'll start to feel that different too. So I like to feel that during the downswings. It's something I use with a lot of people. Will change your compression when you get used to it. You might uh, be able to use it during the backswing if you go off there as well. I hope that that helps. Like the video, leave a comment down below if you guys have any questions about this.